Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about my experiment that I did fairly recently where I posted 5 to 10 articles a day, then I posted 17 articles and before that I posted one article and one article, okay? So the point of this experiment was to see whether Google cares whether or not you post multiple articles per day. We're going to be looking at this and yeah, I think the results are going to surprise people to be honest with you. So this was one of the ones, this was a control article. This article was posted on the 30th of March and I think it was the only article that I posted on that day. From now on, all of the articles we're going to be looking at, they're going to have been posted. There's going to be loads of them posted in the same day. And I think we're going to notice something about these articles. So the first one has zero impressions, zero clicks, which is obviously very, very bad. The second one has just five impressions, which is also terrible, like really, really bad. Let's have a look at this one here. I'm expecting most of these to have zero impressions and zero clicks. This is something that I noticed yesterday. So let's go on page five. We've got a lot of articles to go through, but I'm going to do this fairly quickly. So you can see these are all on the 3rd of April. Uh, I think I posted 10 articles in a day. And we're going to see, oh, okay, this one actually has impressions, but yeah, it's not, it's still not great. It has some impressions, but it's, it's pretty low, as you can see. So at the end of this, so on page one, I do have a control article. So we're going to compare the control article to the rest of these. This is super disappointing. It, it turns out I may have been completely wrong about telling people to post multiple multiple articles per day. It seems like the limit is three or four. Otherwise, uh, what you're seeing right now will also happen to you, which is nothing having over 50 impressions and probably like 75% of them have zero impressions, zero clicks, which is really, really bad. And yeah, it was a mistake by me. I was probably a little bit overzealous. But this is why we do these tests. And now we know not to post more than two or three articles per day. So while I'm doing this, I am going to talk about what my plan is from now on. So I have to write an article for iSuit every day, and I have to write an article for two men every day. There is no pressure for me to write more than one article. In fact, even if I don't write one article in a day, there's not really a problem as long as I'm doing something else. So for me, if we are not ranking for any of these, these are all GPT-4, these, are all, these should be well written. Uh, but as you can see, they're just getting zero impressions and zero clicks. So my plan from now on is probably to write one very high quality article for two men and one very high quality article for iSuit. Now, am I regretful that I did this experiment? Absolutely not. <clears throat> the only thing I regret is telling people before I had the results of the experiment that I was confident in the results of the experiment because now I have been humbled, let's say, by the algorithm. I basically spent an entire day writing articles and not a single one of them <laughs> is, is ranking. So yeah, I, I made a mistake, but luckily I don't really mind when I make mistakes and I can own up to them. Oh, this one appears to randomly worked. This is also April the 3rd, so that's super interesting for me. This one seems to have worked pretty well. Um, it must just be the topic. Um, it's, it was posted on the same date, so I don't know why that would make such a huge difference. It looks like I may have found some success, let's say, but the success is very, very limited compared to what I am used to after almost two weeks of the pages growing. So all I'm doing is going through each blog post one by one and putting them inside Search Console to see if there's any impressions or clicks. This should be a fairly standard thing um, if you're running a website or if you're doing the SEO of a website. You need to check oh, You need to check if the articles that you are currently writing are doing fairly well. And if they're not, you need to change what you're doing. So this one seems to have worked pretty well as well. This was on April the 4th. Uh, these are all April the 4th, April the 4th, April the 4th. There's two more pages of April the 4th, or there should be anyway. So April the 3rd and April the 4th, I probably posted 20 to 30 articles in total. And maybe only two or three of them have actually ranked to their potential. And the other 27 were, were just wasted. 
So definitely uh, the key takeaway from this video is do not post crap tons of articles every day. Now, this article should be ranking fairly well. It's not. It's doing okay, but it's not ranking that well. So definitely, yeah, posting more than three articles in a day is definitely having a bad or detrimental effect on the ranking potential of my posts. Normally, all of these would have been ranking fairly well by now. So I really, really wanted to make this video just to make people aware that my previous advice of posting however many articles or blog posts as you want in a day will not affect your SEO. That was, in fact, a mistake. And yeah, you should be a bit more careful with how many you post. Now, this is just for blogs. Is this for things like glossary pages, informational pages, etc.? I don't know. I can't test that really because um, I guess I can make more uh, pages and test it. I probably will continue testing this kind of stuff. Another thing I'm going to test is deleting one of these blog posts, probably this one or one that uh, maybe I, I'm going to pick the best one that's got zero clicks, zero impressions. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to repost it. If that starts ranking, then I'll do that for the rest of them as well. So a lot of SEO is experimentation. I do want people to try and understand that. So when I make a mistake, I just move on. I just change whatever it is that I'm doing. And we, we just move on. There's no problem. No harm, no foul. This one seems to be doing okay. It's got really high click through rate. Okay, so this is the control article that I wrote. You can see April the 6th, I wrote one article. Just one. This was a essay style article. This I would consider high quality. I would consider there to be a lot of content. I even added a video. If this is ranking well, I'm probably gonna be posting one article a day instead of several. So we'll have a little look here. I do know that this is ranking fairly well. It's ranking okay. So definitely, and it's a newer article as well. It's a much newer article. So for me, this is evidence enough that um, I need to stop posting so many articles. So I will have a video very, very soon on my kind of long form flow. I have talked about this before. The way that I wrote this article was I wrote it as an essay. So let's actually just go to the uh, platform. So what I did here, basically, I'll show you just very quickly in case you haven't seen. I said, write me an essay outline for an article called Cesare Attolini as a classic menswear brand. And then I just pressed submit. And what this did was it gave me a really, really solid introduction. Um, sorry, no introduction, like layout format for the article so you can see it's doing the same format here um so you can definitely see this is how i create the article then what i did was i'm just gonna cancel this i took this i put it into the system well actually i refreshed first i put it into the system i said write this uh, essay as a blog post use all of the titles from the system prompt as h2 h3 headers um, use markdown formatting and add my internal links and then i added internal links at the bottom here so i just wrote internal links and then i just went to my sitemap but i'm not going to do that in this video i'm just going to use women's as an example and then if i press submit here this will write the article and it will um, do all of the formatting which means you can very easily copy and paste it. Then, once it's written the entire article, what you want to do is you want to put it in a markdown to HTML converter, which will give you um, raw text. But raw text, more importantly, which will also have all of the formatting, like this. So H1, H2, H3, etc. And then you just literally copy and paste this into Shopify or WordPress. I will have more videos on this very, very soon, but I'm, I'm kind of over writing as many articles as possible per day. I don't think it works that well. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with the results, honestly. 
I put a lot of time and effort into making these articles and they just seemed to have flopped. So for me, flopping is not an option. So I need to change my strategy. There's no point writing five to 10 articles per day if they don't rank as well. So I, I'm going to drastically reduce the amount that I write, probably one per day. And I'm going to make everything 3,000 to 4,000 words long. And we're going to see if that works better. As usual, you can expect to see updates on that uh, anytime. So make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see some updates. Thank you for watching. Have a nice Sunday. And I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.